so one-time customer are going to be those records where your company doesn't want to keep track of uh, maybe customers they're never going to actually be buying more often so you want to do a very quick sale um, before getting into the sales order itself we do need to create a default customer so I have one example preset which I called one here you set up all the default information like language, customer groups, uh, you don't need address or contact information because this is going to be specific for, for each sales order you create because this is going to be every time a different one-time customer. Uh, important information, miscellaneous details you need to check or to set as yes that this is a one-time customer. Also, sales demographics, credit collection, sales order defaults, payment defaults, invoice and delivery. All these tabs you can add default information that whenever you create a new sales order for a one-time customer, all this information by default is going to be uh, linked to your sales order. And then obviously you can uh, change it manually on that specific sales order if you want to. Um, so once we have done this here and saved that we need to go back into sales ledger parameters because you need to say that this guy is going to be the template let's say whenever you create a one-time customer so it's going to be on sales ledger parameters uh, general tab and then one one-time customer uh, done this you can go you can then go into all sales orders and create a new sales order in here instead of selecting customer account you're just going to check that this is a one-time customer you're going to then give a delivery name for that because you don't have an address uh, it is requesting language here so I'll put it manually but it should be taken from my customer and then you can manually add an address because you don't really have um, an address for that customer so I don't know okay So it does it creates a new sales order for your one-time customer. So if you navigate through the tabs, that specific information like currency or delivery terms that you set on your uh, default customer is going to be here. So we create a new open order, then you can move on and add the lines you want. So basically that's uh, very briefly how the one-time customer would work.